Are you tired of copying, pasting and running each command one by one as you can see on the screen? I know, this is tedious and time consuming. It's the moment to revolutionize your workflow. Boost your efficiency and productivity and gain time just by using a keyboard shortcut to execute commands just as I am doing right now. So, instead of a three-step command execution, go to a one-step command execution. To learn how, make sure to watch this video and if you found it valuable, please hit like and subscribe for more insightful details. Usually, if you didn't open something specific in Visual Studio Code, it will look like this. So what we want at this point is to have on the top our list of commands and at the bottom our terminal. So I'll start by opening the terminal. We can click here on terminal and new terminal. Now we want to have the list of commands on the top. So I'll click on file, new text file, and here I have a text editor. I can type some commands like who am I, uname minus a, and curl https example.com. It doesn't matter. These are just a few commands to showcase how it works. Now, instead of copying, pasting, and executing as we saw earlier, we just want to run a keyboard shortcut to execute the command directly. To set that, all we have to do is to click on File, Preferences, and Keyboard Shortcuts. Here, you need to search for Run, Selected Text, and you will get this. Terminal, run selected text in active terminal. You can press on the edit button and here you can add your key combination. For example, I prefer to use Ctrl plus R, but you can choose whatever key combination you feel comfortable with. I use Ctrl plus R because R comes from running. It's just the way I like it, but as mentioned, feel free to use anything that you want. Then press enter and the key binding got set. You can now Close the keyboard shortcut and if you come here, you can just press Ctrl R, Ctrl R, Ctrl R and the command got executed successfully. All you have to do is to make sure that you have the cursor on the line where the command that you want to execute is placed. You can even go and fully select the command and press Ctrl R in my example and the command will get executed. You can even select multiple commands and they will be executed one by one based on the order they are sorted in your text terminal. So right now, if I run Ctrl plus R, I'm scrolling up, and we can conclude here that, first of all, it run who am I, then uname minus A, and lastly, curl https example.com, and here I have the output of each command. This is for who am I, this is for uname minus A, and this is for curling example.com. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this content and found it valuable, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell to stay updated. Your support means a lot to me and I cannot wait to bring you more insightful content. Until next time, take care and all the best.